Hi guys, once again this is Greg Marshall and first I want to uh, apologize for some of my delayed answers or if, if the questions that I am answering are coming a couple hours or days later. For some reason my Tumblr account has been a little bit uh, slow. It hasn't been registering as fast and so if if you are asking me a question and you, and you don't get a response within a day or two, um, please do me a favor and send me the question again to make sure that the responses that I'm sending are getting to your your inbox and so um, hopefully it's not upsetting uh, too many people on the responses because I do want to make sure that I'm helping also uh, we do you know our grand opening is uh, next Tuesday so I'm pretty excited about that but really really busy so also I apologize on I'm not responding as quickly as I can uh, but I will definitely respond and uh, it, it, things are getting exciting so when we open up I'm gonna make sure to take some video and show some things to you guys to see how our gym's set up, how our trainers work, how our whole system works and uh, I'm just extremely excited. I can't wait. Um, also, uh, I got a couple questions today that I would love to answer because this is a common question, but one, if you are a runner and you tend to get uh, you know, maybe sore hips, uh, sore knees or ankles or you just tend to kind of get some joint pain when you're running, um, what I would do and highly recommend is if you're not injured, uh, make sure that before you do your runs, spend double the amount of time that you normally do uh, for a warm up. Uh, spend that much more time uh, getting prepared and loose, and do things that are dynamic. Um, static stretching, which is stretches that you you know where you kind of just like hold, um, is is good stretching. That's a little bit better maybe for after your workouts, but before your workouts, you want to do dynamic warm ups because that actually prepares your body for the activity that you're going to do. So uh, a good example is if you're going to be running, you don't want to just practice you know, holding a stretch because at no point are you going to just stand still when you're running. And so, and so when, you, when you're getting loose, make sure you're doing uh, maybe some light jogging, um, doing some walking lunges, some side lunges, some leg kicks, some high knees, uh, you know, side shuffles, you know, do these different types of exercises that can really uh, get those muscles prepared and ready to go. Even you can even do some uh, some very light plyometrics like squat jumps, split squat jumps, just to get that internal body temperature a little bit warmer, get those muscles prepared. And that will um, help prevent uh, muscle injuries or muscle pulls. And it'll also help you to uh, perform better when you do uh, your races or your runs because your body is more prepared for the activity that you're about to do. So uh, those are some tips on how to uh, deal with maybe some you know some muscle pains or hip pains in your body. Another question I got is if you are sick and you feel that uh, you know if, if you're anything like me and you're kind of addicted to moving around and working out and you don't like to just lay in bed, um, what I would suggest is don't do um, any uh, very rigorous weight training or anything that's going to break down your muscle fibers. What I would do is if you got to get that workout in, sometimes it's good to get the blood flow moving. And I would do some light cardio, um, you know, not pushing it very much, just getting your body moving so you can start to remove toxins and things like that. So um, don't don't overdo it. And it is based on an ind individual basis, and it is based off of if you if you feel like you can. Um, your body will give you signs on if you're prepared to work out or not. And uh, one of the things that you don't want to do is prolong your sickness by um, breaking it down too much. So make sure if you are sick, you, you get plenty of sleep. Um, you, you know, you're taking your multivitamins, you're eating healthy, getting fruits and vegetables, plenty of water in. Um, I tend to, if I, if I start to get sick, I tend to like to almost double my water intake um, it, it something you know for me it feels like the water is removing the toxins and kind of getting things out of me so uh, you know hopefully those tips help um, I'm really enjoying the uh, questions the comments uh, I got a great compliment today with uh, people uh, you know one of the viewers had referred one of their friends and there's nothing that makes me more excited than when people do that because then that means I'm actually making an impact and uh, getting better at what I what I'm doing, and um, I, you know, that at the end of the day, that's the whole purpose of this blog is to not only 
uh, be able to offer content to help you guys but to get you guys to connect with another person that you guys can then be workout friends partners and help each other out so hopefully uh, you know you guys are having a great night and uh, you know I'm looking forward to possibly um, it's not sent stone yet but possibly a Friday a Friday night uh, doing a um, a Skype session or a Ustream session um, to go ahead and answer any questions. So if you guys are available, um, I would be doing that roughly around 9 p.m. Uh, I live in Utah, so 9 p.m. Utah time. So whatever time that is, I think that's 11 p.m. East Coast time. If you guys have a, have a preference and you would like to see, uh, if you would like me to do it at a different time, uh, leave a comment or send me a direct message. I'd be more than happy to try to uh, make it a little bit more convenient. So you guys have a wonderful night. Um, I know I will. I'm actually about to, uh, I just got home from work and I'm about to uh, go take a shower here. So you guys have a wonderful night and we'll uh, talk to you tomorrow.